and I, I don't know if you've also realized that when it comes to transportation, mm -hmm. there's this new thing that we have accepted. The tricycle. The tricycle. Yeah. And yeah. Then you see it everywhere. Come, let me show you some of the tricycles. We just came out uh -huh. and you've seen one just passed. Another one is coming. Uh -huh. So check them out. Yeah. Dale, wave him, man. Wave him. <laughs> <laughs> the hustle is real. Everybody has to eat. So that is one new thing that okay. is trending in Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. The use of these uh, tricycles. Yeah. You know? Cape Coast has accepted this new tricycle. Mm -hmm. I mean, it eats people's um, transportation from mm -hmm. one point to the other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even though there's been few accidents mm. on the road because mm. they've been advised not to use the main road or the okay. highway but it's very cheap everywhere you go it's just one gun oh wow yeah everywhere you go you, so you uh, see them around this time you see a lot of people in it uh -huh. like the students those who don't, who don't want to walk to the house yeah most of them use it so that is how Cape Coast is changing I have to try it oh yeah you have to try I have it. to try one you have to stop one hey so I had a message on Instagram two days ago and this brother was asking me a call I have chance on your videos talking about moving to the motherland and everything but I don't know anything about Africa um, advise me on where to go and I was like okay Africa is big the continent is big with beautiful people but since I'm in Ghana maybe I would have to talk about Ghana so I told him come to Ghana now he asked which part of Ghana would you suggest would you recommend I was like come to central region of Ghana specifically Cape Coast so beautiful people when you come to Ghana the beautiful country of Ghana uh, we have 16 regions out of the 16 regions every region has its capital and uh, I happen to be in the central region I used to see a lot of people transport from one place to the other mainly by taxis but I mean growing I realized there's an inclusion of the trotro yes so the trotro is like a minivan right it takes about 10 to 15 people and so um, it moves and stops at certain destinations people enter people get down okay so it takes a lot of people uh, like 10 to 15 like I said so when it moves from Accra to Cape Coast when it gets to Winneba it will stop people will get down people will get in when it gets to a palm junction uh, man Kasim and so forth all right and then there was a normal taxi here we have shared taxis yes shared taxis but you can choose to um chatter the car that is a word that we use chatter or dropping it means that you alone will be in that taxi from one point to the other and with that you're going to pay extra because it didn't allow the taxi to be shared with other people all right so fast forward 2019 2020 there was this introduction of a tricycle here we call it pragia so yes two years three years ago this pragia thing started coming in into the country now it looks like cape coast have really accepted pragia yes cape coast has really accepted the people of cape coast have accepted pragia now one reason speaking to those people who Patronize Pragya says that one it is cheap two it is easy to find three it takes you closer to your destination unlike a taxi who will just drop you at a certain junction and then you walk home but with Pragya it will take you straight to your house or closer to your house because of the size of the tricycle all right so fast forward there's been issues with accident thefts and you know a lot of things concerning the use of pragya and even those who drive it they are younger younger kids who are not supposed to be driving and some even drive without license and they drive on the wrong road now the good thing that i personally in my opinion that i would say about this pragya thing is that it has really given job to a lot of people before this project came there were a lot of petty petty theft in cape coast yes phone snatching bag snatching people breaking into your houses and all that but with this project it has really solved a lot of such issues because most of these guys who were doing that were not working so then they would go into either arm robbery or whatever so in my opinion it is good that it is in but but we need to regulate it 
now talking about the negative side i have even lost a friend yes i lost a friend a girl who you know um patronized the pragya or the tricycle and then on the way uh, they use the highway that is why i said they use the wrong road it is too light so when you have a bigger car passing by the pressure or the air from the bigger car even pushes it away okay so i lost a friend on the highway which was which was pretty bad so concerns were raised to the cape coast metropolitan assembly so there were complaints here and there and then the way they drive in in town was really bad so then this government institution called the ccma sat with you know opinion leaders and came out with directives or solutions with bylaws or laws that should control the use of pride here in Cape Coast. In September, they had this meeting and then they came out with some directives. So today, 22nd, they made the directives known to the patronizers of Pragya. Whether you're a driver or whether you are an owner or whether you use, I mean, you patronize, you use it, you know, during your transportation here and there. So I'm going to read out to you what basically this directive talks about so that when you come to Ghana or where you are in Cape Coast, you will get to know how and what not to do when it comes to patronizing the tricycle and Pragya. Not that alone, there has been an issue of open defecation. Yes, um, growing up, most houses, that is in the 80s. I know I'm a younger brother, so, <laughs> you know, growing up in the 80s, I realized most houses, even my house where I lived, we didn't have a toilet. We used the public toilet. And some people who don't want to use the public toilet because of one thing or the other would rather go to the bushes or go to the beaches and ease themselves. And it's been a worry to the people of Cape Coast. So this was also included in the directives. Now, you remember I did a video about the sea defensing in Ghana, especially those of us who are closer to the seashore. So the government you know has uh, done this project where they are putting big big rocks you know to serve as a defense between the sea coming closer to the community yes and the sea getting closer to the community in our opinion came about because people were fetching sand from the seashore which we call sand winning sand winning so the more you fetch the sand at the shore it creates a space and a hole for the sea to be coming forward and failing that hole therefore getting closer to the community this also came to the knowledge of the people of cape coast so it was included in these discussions that came up with this directive so it's going to be about the use of pragya or the tricycle and then sand winning and then open defecation so let me read out what the directives is all about so this is a press release coming from um, cape coast metropolitan assembly um, press release release on october 22nd today 2021 and it says directives on tricycle pragya aboboya operations sand winning and open defecation in the cape coast metropolitan assembly so this directives is coming from the ccma to all cape coasters everybody who uses pragya when it comes to open defecation and then sand winning now it says the cape coast metropolitan security council at its meeting held on wednesday september 15 2021 agreed on directives regarding tricycles into bracket pragya or aboboya operations sand winning and open defecation in the cape coast metropolitan area now the management therefore wishes to bring to the attention of the general public including you watching who will love to come and settle in cape coast the following directives one persons below the age of 25 years are banned from riding tricycles which is pragya and abubuya as provided by the law yes so the first thing is that if you are less than 25 do not dare to go drive this abuboya or the cape coast metropolitan security council would arrest you now two unregistered tricycles and unlicensed riders are banned from operation so if you have a prior 
you need to register it if it's unregistered you will be arrested or the prior gear will be seized and if you're above 25 and you need to drive the prior gear you need to be licensed all tricycles are restricted from using the Accra Tekradi Highway so like I said my friend had an accident and died because the tricycle rider used the wrong road Tekradi and Accra Road is kind of like busy highway road and it's not good for this kind of vehicle because it is too light for it to be on the highway all tricycle operations should be between the hours of 6 a.m. and 5 p.m. daily you heard it you are not supposed to ride the bicycle or the tricycle after 5 p.m. every day so in the morning 6 a.m. you can do your rounds work with it provided you are above 25 you have registered the tricycle and you also have a license you can ride up to 5 p.m. after 5 p.m. you need to go park this tricycle five sand waning activities along the beach along the beaches are banned sand waning along the beaches are banned when those of you from cape coast say fee bacano nasero ucc second gator um just opposite saint augustine's college still people do sand waning there and they don't know when you know who in suswando was a babra in yankasa okay so uh, message of CCA may or been in there. He may have known what so and we are who on pan on wing jay. Okay, so that was in my local dialect. Yes, six open defecation is also prohibited in the metropolis. Now, he may have known our brothers who's been doing this going to the beaches or the bushes to defecate. You are asked to stop. What's it? Um, one walk on pan. No walk of bush, no walk a jam one and then wing jay says he see me. What's a woman? What bet you want? What you want to some bra on you want to busy? These directives come into force on Monday, November 1st, 2021. So, beautiful people of Cape Coast, beautiful people watching me from outside Cape Coast. If you happen to be in Cape Coast, put these things in your mind when you come and you want to patronize Pragya. And the driver or the rider is less than 24 years don't patronize if the tricycle is not registered don't patronize if they are using the wrong route don't patronize if you go to the beaches and you find somebody sand winning please advise the person to stop or the law will be enforced on such a person thank you very much for checking me out this is a course simpson from cape coast central region ghana west africa africa to the world if this is your first time of checking me out kindly subscribe